before I begin this, uh, um, I want to tell you straight up front that there are a lot of names from G Greek mythology in this uh, short piece, and um, I know that I'm probably going to mispronounce many of them, so I pray your forgiveness for that in advance. This is Pegasus on the Saginaw River. Yesterday, September 19th, I found myself with some spare time on my hands, so I and my son David ended up at the banks of the Saginaw River near downtown Saginaw. There are always unusual and interesting items to be found there, and today I found something most unexpected and really rather enigmatic. This find got me thinking a lot about Greek mythology. What I found was a button, and a damaged one at that. But even though it was damaged, it was a very interesting button indeed. The button is likely from the 1890s, and on the front, um, embossed in the metal, is an image of Pegasus, the winged horse of Greek lore. And uh, riding per, uh, Pegasus's back is another well-known character to Greek mythology, uh, Bellorophon. Oftentimes when I find items, I learn a lot by looking at the story behind the piece. There are a series of letters under Pegasus of which I recognize only one, and that is the symbol for Omega. So let's learn a little mythology together by taking a look first at uh, Pegasus. Pegasus is the winged horse, uh, considered a divine stallion, generally depicted as pure white. His parentage is Poseidon in his role as the horse god. His mother was Gorgon Medusa. Pegasus had a brother whose name was Chrysor, who was born as Perseus decapitated his mother. Pegasus was a friend of the Muse, or Muses, and was the creator of the Hipposerene, the fountain at Mount Helicon. Pegasus was captured by the Greek hero Bellerophon near the fountain of Pyrene with help from Athena and Poseidon. Pegasus <clears throat> allows the uh, hero to ride him to defeat a monster, the Chimera. His rider fell off his back while trying to reach Mount Olympus, and it was Zeus who transformed him into the uh, constellation Pegasus and placed him up in the sky. The symbolism of Pegasus varies with time. <clears throat> he was the symbol of wisdom, and especially of uh, fame from the Dark Ages through the Renaissance period. Pegasus is the subject of a very rich iconography, especially through the ancient Greek pottery and paintings and sculptures of the Renaissance era. <clears throat> Interestingly, according to legend, everywhere Pegasus struck his hoof to the earth, an inspiring spring burst forth. One of these springs was upon um, the Muses' mountain, which is Mount Helicon, and the Hipposrene, which is horse spring, opened up. It is also said that Pegasus carried thunderbolts in service to Zeus. There are various depictions concerning the birth of Pegasus and his brother, uh, Chrysor, in the far distant place at the edge of the earth, Hesidodes, which is springs of the ocean, which was believed to have encircled the habited earth, um, which was where Perseus found and killed Medusa, the uh, <coughs> lady using... Uh, um, that term might not be correct for her, but um, she was the uh, woman with the snakes for her hair. <clears throat> Another account says that per Pegasus and his brother sprang forth from the blood of Medusa's neck as Perseus beheaded her, similar in fashion to how Athena was born from the head of Zeus. Still another rendition states that when Perseus beheaded Medusa, they were born of the earth, fed by the Gorgon's head. And still another variation holds that they were formed from the mingling of Medusa's blood, pain, sea foam, implying that Poseidon was involved in their creation also. Bellerophon was aided by uh, Pegasus in his fight against the Chimera and the Amazons, and Bellerophon was told um, by the Polyados to sleep in the temple of Athena where the goddess visited him in the night and presented him with a golden bridle. The next morning, still clutching the bridle, he found Pegasus drinking at the pier and spring where he caught Pegasus and eventually tamed him. It is also part of the mythology that when Pegasus was born, he flew to where thunder and lightning are released. Then, according to some versions of the myth, Athena tamed him and gave him to Perseus, who then flew uh, to Ethiopia to help Andromeda. In fact, Pegasus 
is a late addition to the story of Perseus, who flew on his own with sandals loaned to him by Hermes, um, better known as Apollo. Pegasus and Athena left Bellerophon and continued to Mount Olympus, where he was stabled with Zeus' other steeds and was given the task of carrying, as I said previously, Zeus's thunderbolts. And because of his faithful service to Zeus, he was honored with transformation into a constellation. It is said on the day of his transformation that a single feather from his wings fell to the earth near the city of Tarsus. All this is just a brief primer of Greek mythology concerning Pegasus. On the banks of the Saginaw River here in mid-Michigan, I've seen many fossils, Indian artifacts, as well as logging relics, but I never in my wildest imagination uh, would have thought to find something which would tie into ancient Greece. And while the button is not ancient in my opinion, although it could be, it is definitely antique, I've learned a bit of history le a lesson from it. What I'd like to know about is the um, who manufactured the button and whether it was mass produced or it was produced um, aimed at a certain wearer. I would also invite any of my viewers to leave comments below if you have any information concerning this button, its manufacture, and what the uh, small line of Greek letters means across the bottom of the, of the uh, button. Thanks for listening.